Hello Java developers! Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see what is Verazano and how to deploy your Helidon microprofile application to Verazano. Okay, so let, let's let's be fast. What is Verazano? When you are when you are deploying a cloud native application, a Java cloud native application in your Kubernetes clusters, you realize that Kubernetes is not enough. Most of the time you need to install things related to service mesh, to observability, to security. And what Verizon does is to provide everything for you in a whole package, in a platform where you can deploy your applications on top of it. So uh, let's take a look in this diagram here. You can see that uh, no matter what kind of application you are deploying, no matter if it's a traditional application, just like Oracle Web Logic or Oracle Coherence, or if you are deploying a Java microservice using Spring Boot, Helidon, or Micronaut, or any other language like Python Node or, uh, or even Ruby, you can deploy all those applications on Verizano, and Verizano will provide for you a platform with Rancher, Istio, uh, Grafana, Prometheus, Kibana, Elasticsearch, FluentD, Jagger, Keycloak, Search Manager, and now Kiali in the version 1.1. And you can deploy Verizano in any cloud provider that supports Kubernetes. Okay, so no matter if it's a public cloud, private cloud, or even a, a moot cloud environment, it will allow you to have a moot cloud feature for your deployment, for your application. Of course, to deploy, to deploy an application in, Ver, in Verizano, you need to understand open application model. So what is an open application model? An open application model is a specification focused on deploying applications. So when you are handling uh, Kubernetes resources like deployment, services, config maps, and so on, it's very focused on Kubernetes. The open application model is an abstraction focused on the application. The design of open application model is driven by Kubevilla, and this project is hosted as a CNCF, Cloud Native Computing, Computing Foundation uh, sandbox project. Let's understand the personas involved in, in, open, in the open application model. The first persona is the application developer. The application developer will develop the application and deliver a code uh, running inside a container. So it will deliver the code and the container. Then the, op the application operator will be responsible to uh, add features related to the environment like traffic management, auto scale, identity. The application operator will provide those features to the application itself so it can be deployed uh, on, on, on Verazano in this case. And finally, the infra there is the infrastructure operator that is not responsible for, uh, for the application. In any sense, it, he is responsible only to configure the environment to satisfy any unique operation operating requirement. Okay, uh, so it's very clear how you have a separation of concerns because the application developer will be focused in the application. The application operator will perform the operation in the uh, in the application itself and the infrastructure operator will take care about the cloud or on-premises. The open application model is not only about personas but it has also some constructs uh, where you can see like here uh, we have the application and uh, an application, a cloud native application is composed like multiple uh, microservices. Each component has its own work workload. Each component references some traits and some scopes. Traits and scopes are part of the application configuration and it instructs how the, the, the component will operate. For example, we have an application that's composed by uh, two components, 
One has a, a PHP workload, the other one has a Redis workload, and each one of them have different traits. Uh, the traits are in green, for example, auto scaling or manual scaling, ro uh, canary rollout, or uh, index uh, ingress, or a scope like a security group public or a security group group private. And the component allows, for example, when the developer is uh, releasing the software to the application operator, uh, the op application operator might come with some questions. Should it restart on failure? Sh uh, can I use parameters? Is this replicable? The, all those things are described in the component schematic. Uh, Verizon supports three workloads, Helidon, WebLogic and Coherence. And the, the third one, containerized workload, can be used to deploy any kind of container. Uh, here you can see an example of a component, this description as a YAML, where you have the component and you have the, the specification of the workload. We have the traits, traits as I mentioned, which is a way to apply customization to a single component, like out scaling, out scaling or ingress. Uh, Verizon supports the, the, the uh, two of them, ingress trait, that will simplify the integration with the, of your application with the Istio ingress gateway included in the Verizon platform, and the metrics trait will also simplify the integration with Prometheus and Grafana, that is also included in the Verizon platform. Here you can see an example of an ingress trait. trait. Uh, finally, we have scope which provides a discretionary application boundary and also the application configuration which is a way to uh, join together the, com the component specification, the traits, the scope and deliver it in a single way. You, here you can see the application configuration where it lists the components, the traits and the scope. So now we'll see how that works by deploying a Helidon application. I, I've written a blog post a month ago that says how you can deploy your first application to Verizano. And this application, of course, is a, uh, it's a Helidon application. So what we will do now is first create this application. So I'll copy this code snippet here to create this Helidon microservice. So you can see that the artifact ID is Helidon MS. And once that we execute this, it will generate the project for us. Okay, now that we have now our Helidon application, let's try it. I can do a Maven package. Okay, and now we will execute this application. Now that the application is running, what I will do now is try it with crow localhost port 8080 slash greet slash Raphael. And you can see that the application is running. Another thing that you can notice is that uh, when you create a Helidon application, it provides some docker files to you so you can use to build your own image what we will do now is to is create our own image using docker build with the tag my repo slash my user slash helidon 1.0 this image should be uh, available to our Kubernetes cluster. Because I'm running uh, Verizano locally, I will, uh, using kind, I will use kind, the command kind, load docker image, and the name of this image, which is my repo slash my user slash Helidon 1.0, to place this docker image inside kind so it can be used in this uh, Kubernetes cluster. Okay, another thing that we need to deploy this application in Verizano is to create a Kubernetes namespace to host 
our resources. So what I will do now is to create a Kubernetes namespace uh, and then make it managed by Verrazano and Istio. Okay, so le let's take a look here. Let's run kubectl create namespace demo application. This is my namespace. And what I will do now is uh, place a label in this namespace demo application and the labels that I will use I will copy here from the blog post by the way this blog post I will place the link to this uh, in this video description so let me copy here Verizon managed true and Istio injection enabled everything that I deploy in this namespace will be managed by Istio and also by uh, by Verizano. Now we need a component definition and we can copy this component definition here from this um, this code is neat. So let me create it here component. Now I can deploy this YAML file to my Kubernetes cluster. kubectl, using the command kubectl apply dash in the namespace demo application this file component yaml. What we will do now is explore Verizon before the things are fully deployed because as I mentioned in this blog post uh, the, this step of deploying a component it just causes the validation and creating and the creation of component resource, but no other resource or objects are created as a result. We need now the application configuration with which we, we will create now that references the component and perf and gives it a metric metric trait and an ingress trait. Let's create this using code appconfig.yaml and now let's deploy this component this application config appconfig now that we deployed the, the appconfig we can see the pods being created in the, this namespace also if we open the Verizano page we can see here the application as running. If we open the application, we can see the component as running as well. As well, if we open this Verizano Helidon workload, we can see that when we deployed this uh, this component, it also created the deployment resource, the Kubernetes deployment resource, and the Kubernetes service. So the wiring was all made for us by Verrazano. If we also open traits, we can see the ingress traits and a certificate, a uh, Istio gateway and a virtual service has been also created, which means that we can access our application to get our to have access to our application. We need to get the, the path using this command kubectl get get, uh, get gateway let's do it this using the uh, autocomplete filter get gateway in the namespace demo application and the name is demo application helidon gateway let's output as a json and here we can see the host to access our application. We can try to use it through the command crawl-sk-xget and we need to inform that it uses HTTPS because the application is automatically secured by Verizano plus the host plus the path plus the parameter. There it goes, it worked and now we can also see some things that were automatically wired by Verrazano. We can open the Helidon monitoring dashboard. The application is 
fully up and running. We can see Prometheus, like let's look for some metrics here. We, we can get this one in those last five minutes. Let's invoke two more times. Okay, and now we can see three invocations in Prometheus. Because if we look at targets, we can see that our Helidon application metrics are being automatically consumed by Prometheus. And finally, we can also see our demo application uh, namespace inside Kiali. Hello, Helidon deployment and everything else that we can do with um, with Kiali. Okay, so what I suggest to you is go to this blog post, uh, read, go through it. There is also a link to how to install your Verizano locally. And then you at the end of the, the blog post, you have several resources that I suggest you to keep an eye, like the Verizano page or the Verizano page in, at Oracle, oracle.com slash slash java slash verizano plus the twitter profile and if you would like to contribute with uh, code documentation or anything else you can go to the github project page so this is what i wanted to share with you and I'd like to use this opportunity to ask you to go to my Twitter handle at Rafa Bene, click and click on follow to keep in touch with more news related to Verizano, Java, the Java ecosystem, and also about cloud native applications. See you in the next video. Bye bye.